Free Golden Birds for War Thunder. Inspect the app in the description below. This is an educational picture brought to you by the Squire Ministry of Tank Stratagem and General Motorized War Trickery. Yes. Has this ever happened to you? Left here, driver. Hold it, hold it. No! Bollocks. Um, reverse! 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 It's okay, I don't think he spotted us. Why, oh dear, you've been hit, and as such have wasted one state-of-the-art British tank. But fear not, just by following a simple set of rules, this meaningless loss can be averted. So, let's watch it again and see where it all went so wrong. First, our brave tank commander cunningly spots a superbly well-hidden German Mark VI tank. So far, so good. But our commander fails to judge this situation properly and doesn't realize his valentine is more than a match for a mere tiger. And thus, he foolishly attempts a reversing maneuver. Why, he's forgetting rule number one of the Squire Tank Stratagem and General Motorized War Trickery Handbook, which is never reverse. You see, reversing is reserved for cowards. And as such, the only reverse gear you'll find on a British tank is for parking purposes only, making it far too slow to back out of any exciting situations with. I mean a British tank having a fast reverse gear. That'd be as absurd as Germany safeguarding Belgian neutrality. So, absolutely no reversing. Instead, in this particular situation, standard protocol dictates you are to perform a frontal attack over open ground at a walking man's pace under the cover of daylight. But wait a second, our commander is about to make a second crucial miscalculation. Open fire. Rule two, always fire on the move. Don't stop to spend time aiming, as even a non-center mass hit from the two pounder is more than likely to completely destroy your enemy. So let's try it again, and this time, no stopping to aim. Gonna open fire. Oh no! Would you look at that! The novice German tank crew hit us with a lucky strike! A 1 in 10,000 shot, I might add! Which brings us on to rule number 3. Always reinforce your tank! Using a selection of household tools, you too can reinforce the defensive capabilities of your tank. Ding! Much better! Items such as the famous Brody helmet and good old-fashioned brightly coloured red and white striped buoyancy aid are particular favourites amongst crews for their spaced armoured properties. Just watch as the underpowered German 88mm cannon endeavours to penetrate our sturdy reinforcement. Fire. Oh drat! It seems that at such close range, even the most stubborn armour upgrade packages can only limit the damage done by either side's guns. At this range, it really is a case of shoot first, win first. Which brings me on to rule number five. Always travel with an entire armored company of tanks. That way, upon your engagement with the fiendish Hun, if your tank is momentarily put out of action, Jerry will have several other state-of-the-art machines to deal with. So that when you're hit, I mean if you're hit, your entire company can briskly return fire and win an historic victory. Now, to achieve this, your tanks have to stick together, which leads me rather neatly onto rule number six. Under all circumstances, be sure to advance your force down a narrow road. And remember to stick as close as possible to your column, as this will guarantee a cohesive company-wide response. As when you're engaged by enemy fire, so in fact is your entire company, allowing you to overwhelm your enemy with sheer force of numbers. If possible, try and source a road that features heavy concentrations of flora and fungi, as this will reduce all-round visibility to claustrophobic levels, or in other words, provide excellent camouflage for your company. 
But what's this? It seems the Bosch have chosen this poorly suited location to stage a badly planned ambush upon our column. But notice how our brave vehicles keep pushing home their advance into Germany, despite the enemy's presence. This is because our boys are wise to German battle doctrine and tactics. Usually, a German ambush will start with the foolish targeting of the lead and rear vehicles of a column. But as always, the Germans have overestimated themselves as competent tacticians. This stop will allow the column to set up a base of fire from the inevitably smoke-covered middle. The smoke itself pouring from the initial losses and now providing a cunning form of cover. These several concealed middle tanks will then overpower the enemy in accordance with Rule 5. So, prepare to see what a tightly packed column of future-proof tanks can do. Fire! With the front and rear tanks requiring a touch of paint, the rest fire their machine guns in order to flush out and finish off the ambushes. However, should your company momentarily run out of tanks, which almost never happens, but if it does, you should immediately action Rule 7. To demonstrate Rule 7 today, we have sent forward a column of state-of-the-art Sherman tanks. What seems like a perfectly ordinary drive through the Hurtgen Forest turns into a composed and even-sided tank engagement. However incompetent, the Germans have proven themselves a tenacious enemy, as even when fielding terribly outmoded vehicles, they can still cause a ruckus. Surprisingly, the crew of this outmoded German hunting tiger have lucked their way into momentarily disabling three of our four Sherman tanks in this blind exchange of fire, meaning it's come down to a one-on-one -on -one even-sided stalemate. Which means it's time to enact Rule 7. If you deem the Bosch to be bowling a tad too aggressively, call the RAF to even the score. BBC, home sir. Fourth nine girl with sir. This is Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Roger, here we go. Attacking now. Ich wusste, dass dieser Panzer zu groß ist. I sincerely hope you all enjoyed the video. I'd like to dedicate this to everybody, especially my Patreon supporters, in particular this week, Sir Waste. So thank you, Mr. Waste. As always, everyone, if you enjoyed the show, please dispatch a like via British Carrier Pigeon, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!